What is up guys? It's your boy Alex here today. I am on a hike by myself right after work and this is just my kind of like therapy because I am trying to utilize a lot more productive ways to uh, relieve any mental stress that I have or anything that's going on with my life and working out is just like a, a luxury that I have at the gym but um, since it's freaking summer I think it is the best time to go on a hike and do all sorts of outdoorsy stuff while I can because in the winter I don't do anything besides stay at home. But also today I want to talk a little bit more about what I have learned through online dating, through the apps mainly, and also some practical takeaways. And this pertains both males and females, but obviously I relate a little bit more with males, so keep that in mind. To start off, I want to give a little bit of a background of myself. I want to hope to relate to other people who watch this and I think I am in, I would say, the majority of the group when I first started. So when I first started online dating, that was back in college. I had Tinder, um, I think Bumble, and at that time there was like plenty of fish or whatever crap that it is nowadays, right? Um, regardless, all the apps are practically the same thing because they all judge on the simple characteristic of aesthetics and looks. And that is, wow, almost tripped. And that is um, mainly the attraction for, the initial attraction for most people when they're on these apps. The one thing that I really didn't know and was confident about at that time was my looks. I didn't know how to take pictures. I didn't know how to do many things, really. And slowly but surely I learned, obviously. My pictures sucked. Um, my profile in itself was kind of boring. And really, that ended up me not having a lot of matches. I am, I don't think I am a good looking dude. I think I am decent looking, right? I would say average. And because of that, uh, when I was in college, I really didn't have any experience, any good experience with uh, online dating. Like my matches were minimum and it created really a scarcity mindset that I have. And it became a thing where like I would put girls, because I'm a heterosexual male and I'm attracted to females, I would put girls on a pedestal. And what I mean by putting females on a pedestal is that every time I match with somebody, right, I get all lovey-dovey and all that. I was future-seeking with that other person, even though I haven't physically met that person. And that really um, uh, drained my mental energy and also created really just like a a mindset that was not necessary, um, I don't think, to like, I don't know, it, it shouldn't be a thing to envision being with somebody uh, when you haven't even met them yet, you know? Like, you think about all the possibilities, and for, and for me, I thought about like the possibilities of getting married, all this stuff, very traditional way of thinking, but uh, I learned through the hard way that is probably not the best thing to do. Oh, so I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit because uh, I need to figure out where to go. And also I need to climb this incline because this is no bueno. So I have my drone here and uh, I brought the controller. I literally brought every single thing, but my phone, since it needs a smartphone to, you know, view the screen and stuff, I didn't update the app and I barely have any service up here, so sick. I, I just brought everything for no reason. This happens every single time I try to use the drone. Something always goes wrong. So I am completely, I am completely not surprised that I screwed this up this time again. And I have this sick ass view to shoot and uh, yeah. Sick YouTuber dude, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so now that I could breathe and talk again, as I was saying, I think I was just future proving or just like envisioning, future envisioning of a person that I haven't even met yet. And I think that became a very, very uh, bad habit to have for myself. 
um, not only will I get disappointed because that person, that girl, would just leave me unread, or they decide they don't like me, or whatever it is, right? So um, I had a problem of doing that, of always envisioning the future with the other person without really knowing them. And I continuously did this for every match that I got, and it was so disappointing, and it also made me kind of depressed, you know? Um, and to this day, I think I still have that, a little bit of that habit, but I have learned um, for most of my time. Oh my goodness, this is sick. Look at this. Ha! That's another sick view, dude. I gotta go down there, and then you'll see that. But anyways, I have that habit of doing that, and it still continues to this day, but it has gotten so much better now that I am single and I have made money for myself and I don't I feel like I am more confident with myself that I am able to choose now right I have power to choose because I'm a a relationship in itself it's a mutual agreement it's a mutual compromise that both the male female um, or male to male or female to female whatever it is that you're into it is a mutual agreement that you want to have and be with each other right for the most traditional sense of a relationship of a romantic relationship and that you're into just one person you're supposed to be loyal to this person right you're not supposed to be sleeping around doing all sorts of stuff and for me that that was ultimately what i wanted when i when i was younger right i i really wanted that and i really wanted to fall in love and have this very hollywood very beautified type of mood or type of expectation for myself but as i grew up and i learned a little bit more about our culture nowadays i feel like that is fairy tale like like that type of marriage that type of relationship is very very difficult to find and it's only a small percentage of people that are that are lucky enough to have this type of relationship or have worked towards this relationship for me it was difficult to grasp that idea, but then uh, it, it eventually clicked. Something in my head clicked because of so many of these girls declining like to go on a date, like ghosting me after I suggest like we go on a date and all this other stuff. And uh, to be honest, it still happens today. Like it, it's nothing has changed. The environment in itself has not changed besides my outlook on myself. This became very powerful, right? Because if I can't control other people's decisions on whether they respond to me or not, or whether they are interested in me or not. I could only control my section of the relationship, my section of, of another person, of this mutual agreement. So I came to the conclusion through experimenting and uh, talking to many, many women on these dating apps that I... I, I should be talking to many people. Like I should be talking at any one time that I should be talking to like five, six plus people because from my experience, the chances of me ending up in a date is very sm slim. So it is all numbers game in this case. And before I continue, look at that sick ass view, bruh. Oh my goodness, hold on. Let me, ch let me change the exposure a little bit, all right? All right, I'll give you a little, little taste of what I'm tasting. Ooh, look at that. Um, I gotta go downhill, so it might be a little bit slippery, but this is awesome, and I just walked from here. So uh, this hike is actually pretty cool because I had to go through like vegetation over there, and uh, now that I'm like in like dry wasteland or something, I don't know, uh, it's very, very cool because it's like a plain field and I could basically see everything. Awesome, sick, dude, sick, sick, sick. So as I was talking to many women at the same time, inherently that also meant I got more and more dates. Actually, this past year, I have been on the most amount of dates I've ever had in my life. And I'm not talking like a date every weekend, but I, I, I'm not super experienced with relationships, right? I'm not super experienced with girls, but I can say the past year, it has been the most successful, depending on your perspective, on uh, my dating apps and the amount of matches that I got. And I have recognized that pictures do freaking matter because they present the only thing that most 
uh, people on dating apps can see is literally you, your face, um, and who you are within just a few pictures. And that is just how the game is played, right? So if you don't like these type of things and you don't like like this superficial, like very surface level type of type of engagement in your relationships, then don't be on dating apps because that's legit all you all you really have for the most part. So my first tip really is to really get good pictures. Hire somebody to take pictures for you or have pictures of you like doing something, have activities, um, show a group, uh, show a group picture with you in it. Uh, find good pictures. Don't just take selfies and all this other stuff because it's, it's never going to work out uh, too kindly for you, especially if you're just a meteor looking dude and you're not super attractive um, You have to work and uh, play the game, right? Oh god, I'm going downhill and I feel like I'm slipping Whew. Okay, so you have to play the game uh, and Whenever it comes to dating apps and from the, this past year even though I have been the most successful and when I say successful, to me is grabbing as many dates as possible. And I've also been into uh, a predicament, should I say, like it's a good problem, I guess, is that I spent a lot of time with other, other people, right? Whether it developed in a good relationship or not, I spent time, money, time, and effort on a person that I didn't really know and this became very time consuming and that, that is an asset right now in my life that i feel like i need the most uh it's not the money right now it is not enjoyment right now it is time time is so 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 valuable to me that i have thought many thought over many things in my daily life that I could make more efficient or set a schedule, set a routine so I could, in order to accomplish different things in a very timely and effective manner. When I say that I spent a lot of time with um, other women and like all this stuff, I would, there were, there were times in my, in my past year that every weekend I'll go down to someone's house and just like hang out with them whatever you want to take that as and also i've been on multiple dates on the same day so i have been like two separate or three separate dates i think two separate is actually the, the max i've had two separate dates in one day so i saw two different people in one day and you know like uh, more than a year ago i would have would have said that was impossible but i happened to to make that happen um, for however reason. I still haven't broken down the formula, but that shit worked. It, wor it worked with me just putting in effort and putting a decent amount of time on the apps and therefore the reward paid itself. And even though you might be thinking to yourself like, oh man, I wish I'm in that type of position. I, I am telling you that people, whenever you're spending and building relationships or try to uh, date, it takes a lot of time and effort and money. So you have to be settling some sort of fundamentals, some sort of, of criteria, some sort of expectations for the other person. So you're just not matching with some bums, right? You're not matching with people that you don't really find attractive physically or mentally so don't waste your time on people even though you might feel you're super desperate and i've been there right i've been to the point where i'm like super desperate i need attention or i i shouldn't say i need attention or it feels like that but i want attention from other people regardless if they're ugly or attractive or not it, it's just that that factor you have to set set some sort of criteria you have to set some sort of expectations and level so you could be honest with yourself because uh, at the end of the day, you have to spend your time and energy and money towards this person. And if, if you're, if you're going to just like use that as, I don't know, like a rebound or something or, or like a, a very short term type of thing, I really don't think it's worth it because it's, it gets boring really fast. And uh, you, you need to... You need to be more effective in that case. You have to be more efficient um, with your time and money and resources because at the end of the day, that's that's the finite amount. Like there, there's plenty of people on these apps, right? There's there's plenty of women and plenty of guys or whoever you're into 
in the world and you don't need to be someone to like impress just one single person remember there's there's so many people in this world and so many people living around you that you can't you can't put one female or one person on a pedestal because that's just not right you can't treat them you can't treat them like royalty when they're not really royalty you can't treat them with with you could treat them with respect that that's that's something i always give but you can't treat them like they're the last thing in the world um and you have to realize that really really quickly because otherwise you'll fall into very needy uh habits and desperation whenever you come across this person and whenever you're talking to this person it just does not convey a a sense of uh self-respect for yourself um you have to understand that because I I because I, I I know I know this freaking feeling whenever you feel desperate and you feel like you're unloved you feel like feel like no one wants you and something's wrong with you you just want somebody to want you I can guarantee you there's there's very little things wrong with you there's very little things in your life that you you can change in order to make that other person like you right getting ghosted and getting uh, disrespected from uh, online dating is part of the game. It is legitimately part of the game. And I would say it is legitimately part of building relationships because, you know, it is, it's just what it is, right? It is what it is sometimes. And you have to learn to respect yourself because at the end of the day, you're, you're going to have to be alone at some point in your life. You have to be alone and you have to be willing to walk away from your relationships or walk away from a certain relationship or, or whatever it is because you're comfortable with yourself. And that's the most empowering thing. And this is all like very cheesy shit that I'm talking about, but it is the fucking truth because I would not say this if I don't freaking believe in it. Uh, most of you guys who have followed me on my channel know that I come across very honest. I'm very transparent parent and with this this type of mindset and this type of self-respect for yourself will earn you a long way because you will minimize the amount of times that you will feel sad or desperate or uh, depressed because another person doesn't like you uh, it, there, there's so many other things that you could work on with your personal life that you could become the best version of yourself the the most confident person in yourself you have to be comfortable with yourself before you really take on another person or relationship and with that being said that is the type of mindset that i i really strive to have and i think that plays into uh indirectly uh, in a lot of ways and probably directly in a lot of ways too on why i have been able to be successful for the past year on online dating and, and, and it's not to say that i don't I, I still don't get left on red right because that's that's actually a real problem <laughs> i still get left on red and oh shit motherfucker Woo! Woo! So, and there's a sunflower isn't that cute i didn't stop me from falling but holy shit i was about to trip on my ass down this hill all right i'm gonna stop freaking vlogging and focus on the hike for a minute all right now that my freaking knees are shattered i want to make sure that you guys understand that in order to become this like confident or or just having this self-respect for yourself you cannot prioritize an, another person that you haven't even fucking met that you haven't even been spending time with and that you have only like chatted online don't prioritize them because they should be like your second or third priority right the first priority you should be having is working on yourself and this could be many things in your life it could be like working on a business or or working on your education whatever it is you must have your own personal goals because that's what makes you dangerous it's it's not only dangerous for like for your employment and your financial needs and whatnot, it is also your confidence level, right? Because if you get that right, if you get that foundational, um, foundational like work mindset in uh, correct, and you are focusing on your passion or focusing on finding your passion, you will find that you you're a lot more comfortable with yourself. You will find that you don't need another person to to respect you in order for you to 
for you to feel satisfied with your life. You have to become more independent uh, with yourself. And it, it is very, very difficult for most people to grasp because it is not every day that, um, that you find your passion, right? It, it is a consistent grind throughout the years. Now I'm like kind of transitioning from um, a lot of things in my life, uh, in my professional life. I think most people need to really focus on their professional life, their work life. It, it not only supposed to pay bills, but it, it grants satisfaction to you as a human being, for to you as a person who wants to respect yourself. It, it, is, it is like a proof for for you to know and understand that that you're just not a freaking match, right? You're just not another random person online um, that has nothing going on for yourself. You know that you have something to offer and you have to prove that through your work life and your professional life. All right, just finished hiking, just got to my car. But as I was saying, you have to really have proof that you respect yourself and you have to you know take care of your body right take care of yourself first and prioritize yourself prioritize your goals your passions your job whatever it is that you find satisfaction over girls or over other guys or whatever that you're into another finding another partner because at the end of the day at the end of the day you have to find yourself attractive it's not the other person. It's not all these other things because that, that comes into second. That comes into play later on whenever you have accomplished something with your life. Whenever you have other things to offer besides your freaking looks. Because at the end of the day, everybody's going to die, right? Everybody's going to gonna have the same like place that they're going to. And you have to understand that whatever legacy that you leave... Um, is impactful for the people that you love and impactful for for others to to be inspired or, or do whatever because I'm telling you right now that there is nothing wrong with being a McDonald's cook um, and you know a cashier or something that's very I would say relatively low level entry level type of position but you shouldn't be doing that for the rest of your life you should have more goals to yourself you should have have ambitions right you have to be working on yourself all the freaking time because that is really what makes you attractive said these bitches better talk nice to me or i walk up don't want chasing bras that don't never show me love now bitch you dumb as fuck if you're not fucking with me right now tell it to me straight i don't want to waste my time now moonwalking on the hole like a billy jean